In June, the gay worlds collided in Orlando as Walt Disney World and Gay Days brought front and center the fight against Florida conservatives. Number 10 of 23, Walt Disney World takes a stand as 100,000 attend Gay Days amidst DeSantis challenges. Walt Disney World challenges DeSantis with 100,000 gays at Gay Days. Tens of thousands of LGBTQ plus people flocked to Central Florida last weekend to go on theme park rides, mingle with costume performers, dance at all night parties and lounge poolside at hotels during gay days, a decades long tradition. A large turnout sent the message that LGBTQ plus people aren't going away in Florida, which is continually one of the most popular states for tourists to visit. Annually, 150,000 or more visitors come to the half week of pool parties, drag bingo and thrill rides at Orlando's theme parks and hotels. Joseph Clark, CEO of Gay Days Inc. said, quote, that's the point, end quote. Even though Governor Ron DeSantis and Florida lawmakers have championed a slew of anti-LGBTQ plus laws, spurring the most prominent gay rights groups in the U.S. and other civil rights organizations to issue warnings that the Sunshine State may no longer be safe. Gay Days organizers are still encouraging visitors from around the world to come to one of Florida's largest gay and lesbian celebrations. Unlike most of the country, which celebrates Pride in June, Orlando holds its Pride in October. Gay Days is a bonus celebration. Currently, Disney is embroiled in a legal fight with DeSantis over the governor and Republican lawmakers' takeover of Disney World's governing district after Disney officials publicly opposed legislation that critics have dubbed Don't Say Gay. This weekend was exceptional, mm. people, okay? It was a lot of fun. There was thousands and thousands of LGBTQ plus people being their true authentic selves, having a ball, okay? And for a moment and for a weekend in time, we stopped thinking about how much hate was against us, but it was in the room. Like yeah. you felt it and everybody talked about it regardless, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was just, you know, it was one of those things where there was people putting out videos telling people not to come, telling people that it wasn't wow. safe. And I was like, oh no, please. I got on my TikTok and did the same thing for Girls in Wonderland. It's safe, look around. <laughs> they had cops everywhere. They had undercover cops everywhere. Mm -hmm. I felt safe, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. At all the parties, at all the theme parks at Disney, mm -hmm. I felt safe. I didn't feel like anything was gonna happen or there was a threat to us, you know? And it was just such a loving, wonderful mm -hmm. environment. But that's how Walt Disney World's supposed to be. That's what Orlando's right. supposed to be. You're yeah. supposed, it's the happiest place in the world, right? Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. So, you know, I wanna say thank you to everybody who did go. Yes. And thank you for contributing to the to the legal fees that they're gonna have. Yes. Because that's ultimately <laughs> what we need to do, right? Make sure that Disney has the support to fight, yeah. to fight this bad legislation. And yeah. you know, it's not just about, like, I love how you said you felt safe, because that's obviously so important. And, and But also you felt in community. Like, I mean, how important that is, and that helps you feel safe, because, like, we're stronger together. And I don't want to be super obnoxious about this, but I have never loved Disney more. Like, I mean, all this has only made me, like, you know how there's, like, a term for gays, Disney gays? Like, I, mm -hmm. I want, this is 100% true. I didn't know that was a thing. And then one time I went to a friend's house, and, I, like, from their entire house was just decorated in Disney stuff, like, from the curtains. And I was like, oh, my God, I thought I was going to get murdered. But I was not <laughs> murdered. Um, and But, like, that's a thing. And I get it. Like, that is, like, because there's something about the message of love, about acceptance, which is actually rooted in so much. And I get this is corporatism. I'm not, like, a, you know, like, lost to what this means and for profit. But also... They are taking an important stand, and I think they might help be the downfall of, of the DeSantisness of Florida. Yeah. Um, because there's something really, I think this case is going to be huge. So you know, when you, grateful for when you can buy a shirt at Disney, now this is not artificial intelligence <laughs> fake news. When you can buy a shirt uh, at, a, a, at a Disney outlet uh, as a red shirt to prepare for Saturday's uh, red shirt day at Walt Disney World, or you could wear it any of the parks in the schedule uh, rotation that they did that says um, uh, what we think using the Disney logo as official merchandise think about gays and then a big love sign mm. Mm. Oh, and they're I selling a shirt uh, that says that uh, okay there's there's rainbow capitalism but for sure in this moment uh, they don't need the $12 uh, right. that they make on the shirt. It was That's, 28 mm, but no problem. Uh, right. <laughs> Plus tax. <laughs> Plus the tax. That wasn't the point of it. Uh, in, in the environment of what Disney is going through, uh, they made a, a solid uh, statement. A couple of things let's talk about in gay days. We just got we to gotta, we gotta get some, uh, you know, the, as they say, the roses out uh, early. 
Faye hosted uh, at uh, Girls in Wonderland, the pool party. Um, last year I went and said my favorite party was the Saturday pool party down at Kissimmee. You like the go-go dancers a little too much. It was weird. <laughs> it, it was a little weird last year. They moved uh, up to International Drive. Uh, to the Wyndham, which was an old Gay Days uh, oh, was it really? platform, okay. Okay. Uh, which was absolutely fabulous. And let me just say, in terms of the overall Gay Days uh, weekend, girls for the win. Woohoo! Right. Just the party, girls for the win. Because I went three times, and every single time the place, Alice and Burgos and Girls in Wonderland, Mm. My, my, my. A goodness. sea of lesbos. And, and, and people having so much fun. I mean, it was just exuberance. Mm. And Faye uh, hosted um, a comedy uh, uh, show that uh, a huge crowd turned out for. And it Great. was funny. Who would have thought the girls could be fun? Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> and Faye hosting it. And it was, that was amazing. Wednesday night, I so went obnoxious. on the, <laughs> yes, uh, yes, so, uh, Wednesday night, I, for the first time, went on the gay monorail pub crawl, and oh, they start, and, and they go hotel and bar Bob, to bar, Bob by, Bob yes, one of the leaders or yes, something, yes, exactly, mm, yeah. I love that, um, and uh, did that, and that was uh, so much uh, fun, and overall, I just have to say, OMW down at Lake Buena Vista, they launched the Bears event. Mm -hmm. uh, Faye stayed at the Bears Hotel. Where else would I stay? She was With, like a salmon amongst I, the bears. I, oh, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I was oh, bear. no, you could, have, you could I, give it a different analogy for that. <laughs> a salmon among the bears. I'm going to think about it. That's really horrifying. That is horrifying. Yes. That's weird. why every time they saw know. me down the hallway, they'd go, fish, fish. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I meant like really? Pawing. I thought that's I what you that's meant. What, I that's totally thought that's, that's where we were going. Yes, <laughs> dress kind of in salmon coat. And Not really. I don't know. Days, um, <laughs> after two years of pandemic, the loss of the hotel the year before pandemic, having to move from June to August in that debacle. Um, came back to the Double Tree, mm. uh, which is the iconic platform of all of the hotel platforms. It's the iconic platform. It was back this year. Uh, it allowed you to go. Ah, it's going to be okay. Oh. It's going to be okay. Oh. So congratulations to yeah, everyone. Yeah, well done. I just say you? one last thing that I, um, you know, for Girls in Wonderland, it was a wonderful thing to see all these women, right? But it was also a chance to invite our trans women to come and join yes. us also. And then that was such a wonderful thing, yeah. you know, yep. to give them a safe space, to let them know, hey, this is all inclusive, right? Come on in and join us and have a great time. One last thing is also that, yes, we had pool parties. Yes, we had drag bingo. Yes, we had Miss Gay Days. But also we had a lot of children that came out for, gay, yeah. for Disney. Uh, Julian's Fountain of youth took a whole crew oh, of LGBTQ plus called youth. one oh. fabulous weekend and they had a fabulous yeah. weekend and yeah. that was Disney. what it was all about yeah. awesome. to go to Disney and yeah. see I'm getting chills to see all these red shirts and you know you're a part of those red shirts it was yep. the first time that I felt a part of anything in this community Actually, you know funny that you say that because I interviewed Julian today for unapologetically queer and he tells me the story uh, 21 kids uh, went to Disney with nine chaperones That's awesome. and they uh, they stayed uh, at All Star on property Friday night and Saturday yeah. night for Gay Days weekend and he said as young as 14 all all children uh, to go to Walt Disney World on Red Shirt Saturday and a sea of thousands and thousands of LGBT and him telling the story of what it was like for these kids to mm -hmm. see thousands of LGBT in a positive way celebrating at the happiest place on planet Earth. He got chills in yeah, the conversation. Well, because ultimately they're seeing themselves, you right. know, and That's they see that they're exactly, not alone. Yeah, exactly. right? You know, that there's more exactly of us right. and that we yeah. are together, right? Yeah. But good for Walt Disney World for supporting our community and supporting their employees versus the other corporation we talked about earlier. Yeah. How, exactly. how would you feel if you were LGBTQ and you worked for that corporation? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what they're doing versus bad. working for Walt Disney yeah. World knowing that they've got your back. Yeah. Every, uh, one more time, OMW, Gay Days, Girls in Wonderland, Bears Jamboree, Disney Bears, Congratulations. Disney Bears. Everyone. I love that. Disney Bears. Bears. Right. That's the new hashtag. All right.